The California State Railroad Museum is one of the top railroad museums in the world. It's a family-friendly place to learn about the trains and railroads with an emphasis on the construction of the western end of the Transcontinental Railroad, which pretty much started at this spot. We're in Sacramento, where an engineer and four businessmen gave birth to the Central Pacific Railroad. The story that's told so well by the museum includes the surveying work in the Sierra Nevada mountains to lay out tracks in an area widely believed too mountainous for a railroad. The work of building the line included blasting through hard rock using black powder and then later nitroglycerin, which was unlawful to transport through California, but part owner Leland Stanford made that possible when he was governor. The punishing, dangerous work was shunned by white workers, but was masterfully carried out by workers from China. Everything in this gallery tells the story of the building of the first railroad across America. Then when we finish with the little history lesson, we'll go into an area of the museum where you can touch and feel and even walk through some of the old railroad. The story is very well told by volunteers at the museum and beautifully illustrated by the fantastic exhibits. This first train locomotive on the West Coast is owned by Stanford University and displayed here at the museum along with numerous other locomotives and rolling stock. Lucky children from area schools get to visit the museum on their field trips. The western section met the eastern section at Promontory, Utah in 1869. But the story goes on with visitors invited to explore full-size trains inside the museum. In the big exhibit hall, visitors found even more trains. Years ago, I had learned about how Southern Pacific kept California produce cold on its journey to markets in the east. Huge blocks of ice were inserted into the walls of special cars. Now I got to actually see those cars. It's not all about the past here. The planned high-speed train in California inspired this display. More comfortable, more welcoming. But in 20, 30, or 50 years, who knows what it will become? The other modes of transport will waste no time. Who knows where it will take us? It is up to us, people in the railways, to invent its future. Southern Pacific Railroad invented its future when it pioneered the cab forward design so its train crews could go through its many tunnels and snow sheds without choking on the smoke. Steam engines like this giant had safety valves so the boiler wouldn't explode from too much pressure. I learned that the safety valves were sometimes bypassed when going up steep grades with a heavy load. The Santa Fe Railroad display showed a very important part of long-distance rail travel, the dining car. During the golden age of rail travel, companies competed to turn out the best dining experience for passengers, the food prepared in kitchens like this one. Tables were set with the finest china. These dining cars were five-star restaurants on wheels, metal wheels. It went from L.A. to Chicago, down through New Mexico, came up through the corner of Colorado, through Kansas City, 
It took 39 hours and 45 minutes. I came through with this was called the Train of the Stars. Okay. Your movie stars wrote yes. Jack Benny, Bob Bolt. My favorite was this Canadian National display, a full-size sleeper car that seemed to be racing through the dark countryside. You can see the swaying of the car and hear the clickety-clack of the wheels without ever leaving the museum. Future rail fans were here with their school groups. There's a lot here to recreate the past of railroading. The famous Golden Spike and a mural commissioned by Leland Stanford, a glorious pass built onto by the Southern Pacific Railroad. In the same museum, I got to have a hands-on experience of the future. Museum goers get to be engineers of a high-speed train in the museum simulator. I didn't have to wait long for my turn to sit down at the controls and show my stuff. I was taking all this seriously, learning how I could get this high-speed train in on time safely for all my virtual passengers. I had help learning the controls from one of the museum's many volunteers. Once the doors were closed, I eased it out of the station. Everyone seemed interested to see how I was doing. Going fast between stations was no problem, but pulling into the station required some fancy work at the controls. You see the feet up there? Wow. Oh, it's going to go over. I wish there's so much. I go back. Well, I didn't overshoot the station, and my instructor had a kind of a compliment. Okay. I mean, I've done that bad too. <laughs> Worthy. Alrighty, thank you. Good. The California State Railroad Museum is located in Old Town, Sacramento an area worth exploring. By now, my mind wasn't as much on the past, though, as on the future.